Todd and Naya, as you mentioned, federal government officials are warning that this week could be the week that we see an increase in positive cases and in deaths. In just 48 hours, Brazos County jumped with 22 new cases of COVID-19. There are now 94 confirmed cases and seven deaths down south. Bell County reported its second death from the virus today. Officials are reporting 68 cases there. In McLennan County, there are 56 cases. Here's a look at the spread in some of our smaller counties. Falls County is reporting one case. Lampasas, Leon, and Robertson each have two cases. Coriel is now reporting nine cases. Limestone and Milam have three cases each. Today, we learned that the state has partnered with Care.com to make sure frontline workers have access to child care. Care.com is offering 90 days of free access with their services. The state has set up a website to match Texas frontline workers with Texas caregivers. Caregivers are subject to background and safety checks. Log on to texasfrontline.care.com to register. Statewide, 140 people have died from COVID-19. Over 7,000 cases have been reported. The death toll in the U.S. has surpassed 10,000. There are 356,000 cases. Globally, there are 1.3 million cases with 73,000 deaths. But the recovery rate throughout this pandemic is worth noting. 46 Central Texans have recovered from COVID-19. Live from the Coronavirus Tracker Desk, Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.